Hi there, I am Black Bike. Just a quick video. Um, I understand that what's his name? He's got uh, Dr. Horace Chang. He's the Minister of National Security in Jamaica. Border security is a top priority in Jamaica. Reminds me of Trump saying the same thing border security, border security, border security. Only with Jamaica, it's not to keep out immigrants or illegal immigrants, it's to keep out illegal guns. Apparently, um, Jamaica is the hub for illegal guns and uh, they're doing something about it. Um, Minister of National Security, Dr. Horace Chang, says the government will be focusing on border security and control to tackle the flow of illegal weapons into the island. The thing is, whether or not it's guns, that's not the only thing they're killing people with. It's knives, it's machetes, it's all sorts of stuff. And if it's not that, they're killing themselves by taking all these purple drugs or whatever they call purple ice, and that's doing their head in. Um, Jamaica remains a major transshipment point for the narcotic trade. When placed in this context, proper monitoring, multimodal surveillance, and increased border security become fundamental issues that must be addressed in our overall crime-fighting architecture, the minister noted. Multimodal surveillance, that's to do with algorithms, it's to do with human censoring, it's to do with all sorts. It's, it's still being worked on, but it's a massive, high-sensitive um, surveillance system. Um, he was delivering the main address at the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency Border Security Conference held at the Terra Nova All Suite Hotel in Kingston yesterday. I think I stayed at the Terra Nova. Well, that's the source of the Jamaican Information Centre. Yeah, like I said, multimodal surveillance is an intelligent sensing, sensing system using algorithms. The gun law came out in 1975. The gun court came out in 1974. The Firearms Act came out in 1967. Um, to get a firearm license, you need background checks, you need inspections, you need payment of a yearly fee. The thing is, regardless of all of this, gun crime is still rife. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say on this one because... Um, I just think to myself, you know, when they're talking about um, illegal guns, when you think in America, a black person can't even get a gun, can't even access one to defend himself. So I guess what they're saying here is that most people can't afford to pay the yearly fee. I don't know how much the yearly fee is. But um, when, you, when you're in a gun culture, you need something to defend yourself. I'm not an advocate of guns. I'm not an advocate of violence. I hate it. But one rule for one, another rule for another. The police have guns. Civilians don't. You have corrupt police, not only in Jamaica, but in America, in the UK. It's not a happy world when people have to resort to guns to defend themselves or for guns for any reason at all. I hate the bloody things. I hate them. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye bye.